Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to part two of uh, basically taking a look at my carded figures. And uh, we're gonna start off with a few 10 backs here. If you watch my channel or follow me on Instagram, you know I am a huge foot soldier fan. I scored this one here on Whatnot. Um, I forgot who I bought it from. Um, she's a little banged up, but it is a 10 back. It's got the little A on the crotch there. I guess that's uh, first run. Um, she's like I said, she's got some dings and dents on her, but uh, I figured I'd go ahead and pull the trigger on it. Got a pretty decent deal for it, but it's a 10 back. What can I say? I had to go ahead and pick one of those up. I'll uh, see if I can replace it with a better one later, but for now, that's what we're working with. Over here is a little bit better condition. Uh, 10 back unpunched Bebop. Little is uh, a bit of an understatement. This is actually a pretty decent condition 10 back. Picked this guy up pretty recently um, from a local TMNT collector in the San Diego area. Really straight looking card. Uh, could almost be gradable. Um, and uh, I just might. I mean, I did a 10 back. These early 10 backs are just so cool, and I'm so happy to have them, especially uh, Bebop. Just such an awesome figure, such good detail on him, and uh, I just love these ones right here. Moving on to some not so stellar uh, ones, but I had to throw them in because they're part of the collection. But I do have a 10 back April here, a little bit of veining up on top. Look at that awesome sculpt. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I mean, not, a, not too bad. Just a regular old uh, splinter here, not a 10 back or anything, but uh, let's check out April back here. Not too shabby. Um, someone, I don't know why, but they put a tack through there, but uh, I'll still go ahead and count that as unpunched. And uh, like I said, splinter, mm, you know, pretty decent looking card. I'll go ahead and keep it unpunched but nothing super exciting about that one but let's go ahead and move on to a couple well-known characters some really awesome figures here some of my all-time favorites we got Baxter Stockman and of course the fan favorite Slash Slash is unpunched I actually picked him up at the infamous and uh, really well-known Frankensons uh, super cool place if you haven't checked them out or if you're in the SoCal area go ahead and check them out Baxter over here's got a little bit of paint on the front plastic there as most of them do um, I don't know why that, uh, that blue really gets stuck on there the card isn't in uh, too bad a shape little little feathering on the on the corners there but uh, no big deal I'll go ahead and keep this one I actually um, I actually got this from the same guy that I got the Bebop from but um, like I said, definitely one of my favorite figures. Whew, Slash over here. Just the regular black belt. Um, no purple belts or anything like that. Little little um, curl on the side there. Like I said, I got this from Frankensons. But, man, like I said, I just... One of those figures, man. I cannot wait to get my Super 7 Slash. I am super excited about that. They're going to look incredible next to each other up on my shelf. Up next, two of my favorite, favorite figures. We've got Muckman and Joe Eyeball and Wingnut and Screwloose. Uh, just look at that card artwork up there. Just looks super cool. I don't know what it is about this figure, but, I mean, he just looks really cool. And, oh, I got a little little dingy up there on the top left. Not too noticeable. Uh, but Muckman over here also, just another one of those fan favorite figures unpunched that car this card artwork i think it got my number one spot for top brick back card back um, that bubble there it looks like it's got a little the tiniest little bit of yellow tinge on there nothing too crazy i believe i got both of these on uh, the makari app a while ago i think i paid about 50 to 60 oh yeah that one little corner has some feathering there but um i think i paid about 50 to 60 dollars each uh, on these guys this guy here um the cards got a little bit of wave to it not too bad but yeah i got these guys a while back and uh they're in pretty decent shape so i was pretty stoked to pick those up for that price all right let's bring up some heavy hitters we've got dr l over here on the right 
with that amazing card artwork. Got that five year seal, 1992. Just an all around amazing figure. Um, I believe I got this off Macari as well. I think I paid 90. Over here, we've got an unpunched hothead. I was talking to somebody about the uh, stickers on the cars and whether or not you know it's cool or not and then they were talking about what do you do with um, cars that are or the bubbles that are separating i think it was a uh, back in time toys but uh, i told them i'd go ahead and bring this one on and show it and uh, basically how uh, like i explained it to him was uh, i just put it in a mock case and uh, hopefully no one notices I'm sure one day I'll replace it with a better one. Uh, maybe I'll take this one off card and get it graded eventually. But uh, until then, uh, she'll do just fine, just like this. But uh, yeah, definitely some heavy hitters right here. This Dr. L is actually in pre-mo condition. Um, man, I wish they would have done the paint on these things. I like how, like I said before, they show this paint job all super cool on the accessories. And then you get them and it's just plain. Not that that's a super big shock to any TMNT fan, but um, super cool figure right there. Love to have that one. Up next, up next are some really cool figures over here. I know I say this all the time, but some of my favorite figures. Unpunched, Triceraton, um, you know this guy, the guy with the broken tail. Got a little bit of paint rub up there on the top and some down there uh, by the knee. And over here we've got Walkabout, which is just such a cool, amazing, different figure. Such good artwork, unpunched, and in my opinion is one, if not, one of, if not the best condition card that I have. No veins, no scuffs. Um, it is very, very straight. And um, I, again, I got a pretty good deal on this one as well. I think it was 60 bucks. Um, I did get my most of my cards, or some of them, um, probably two to three years ago, so a little bit before the boom, I guess. But then again, I have noticed that a lot of the uh, mock prices on these things have started to come back down. Um, I just saw a super fresh um, Muckman on card for like 110 bucks, which, I mean, that couple months ago, that's like a $150, $175 card all day long. We got Mur Dude and Scumbug over here. I got this Scumbug from Narc, Mr. Not Another Retro Channel himself on his Whatnot channel. And over here is Mur Dude. I feel like he is one of those either you love him or you hate him figures. Um, and of course, I am uh, one of the ones that love this figure. Um, one of those ones that I didn't have as a kid, uh, but that I always wanted. Um, just such a unique one. A little bit of wave down here. Got that Toys R Us tag over here though. $3.99. That's a steal. Um, I got this guy for about 50 bucks, so not too bad. Um, Scumbug in okay condition. A little bit of card wave over there off to the right. Uh, but I'll take it unpunched. Definitely not too shabby, especially uh, for the price that I got it at. All right, moving on, let's go ahead and show off my Krang. Um, nothing too special or spectacular about this guy either, but you know, it is Krang on card. Someone stuck a tack through the thing on this one as well. But the one good thing on this is the artwork on Krang. Man, this artwork, I absolutely love uh, the artwork on Krang on here. I think this one also got regarded pretty high on my top cards list. Um, pretty straight, not too bad. I mean, could be better, but I mean, it's definitely a keeper. All right, our last two for part two. Uh, we've got Chrome Dome and Worm. And as far as the two that are grouped together, I have no idea. I'm just picking random ones, uh, at least for the most part. But um, I picked this one up at Kobe's Swap Meet. So, yes, the bubble is pretty wrecked, but from straight on can't really tell my intent was to rip them and have a super clean chrome dome but uh these worms over here look at those apparently every single one of those is unique uh so good luck if uh you're trying to complete them loose trying to get it actually complete 
Got the old price tag up here. I believe I got this one from Toy Addicts here in San Diego. Uh, it's a local toy store. Um, I think I paid... Honestly, I don't remember. I don't want to guess. I, I want to say it was like 40 bucks, but I don't, I don't know. That sounds pretty low. Uh, but yeah, Chrome Dome over here, like I said, got him from the swap meet. Pretty crunched down here on the bubble. But uh, once I put him in a mock case, I was like, well, I can't really tell. So you know what? Let me just put him in there. He looks pretty cool on the card. So guess I'll keep him in there for now. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for part two. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I will be putting out a part three, so stay tuned for that. If you're new here and you liked what you saw, please, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand uh, subscribers. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Later.